Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on Elliott Wave, uh, which is a pattern that is used in trading and uh, for Bitcoin Cash versus USD Tether, one hour candles. Uh, I have here the perfect example. So basically, actually, if you go into Google, uh, Google Images and you just type Elliott Wave, you will find here like any of these drawings will apply. For example, this one. So we basically get one, two, three, four, five legs going up and then um, A, oops, and then A, B, C correction. <clears throat> so if we look at the uh, Bitcoin Cash chart, we can see here um, Elliott Impulsive Wave from one to five. So we have here a, um, leg number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, what can we expect from here? The correction, so Elliott wave correction, where do I have it? Here. So we will get this, A, B, C, something like that. Okay, so what's the uh, characteristics of this uh, wave to recognize it is that usually the leg number two, which is this one, is the longer the the longest one. Okay, so first we have a, a small wave, little correction, then we have the longest wave, and then correction, and then we have a slightly uh, shorter leg comparing with the number two leg. The number five is usually shorter; it doesn't go all the way up parabolic. It's like the end. Um, of this bull run and then at uh, the correction we, we have the AVC so it goes um, it goes down to touch some support and then goes up but it can do a higher high and that is where the the last traders are, are selling if they didn't sell before they they, they uh, when they see they can uh, that we can make a higher high then everybody starts um, like finishes selling off what they have left and then we, we have uh, um the final correction and from here the price is going to have to decide it usually it goes sideways for a little bit until it decides if it can uh, continue to go up or it will continue to correct so what's the psychology behind this pattern like in every pattern in trading it doesn't really matter if the pattern it's perfectly you know you have a perfect pattern a perfect drawing it's not that important i talked about this in another video about patterns it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or it's not perfect what matters is what the price is doing and the psychology behind buyers and sellers uh, for the price to be forming these these types of patterns so experienced traders will see the first wave and uh, we'll see the beginning of the second wave the the leg number two and they will recognize this could be an Elliott an Elliott wave so most of them will will jump in board will try to catch this wave then uh, they will ride the wave number two which is the longest one and then they will sell at the top get out of here and then uh, some of them some of them have made huge huge profit here already but um, there will still be some uh, other group that that's going to want to ride the last wave, even though it's uh, usually shorter than the than the previous one. But they will jump on board and ride the last wave. And then when they get to the top and they see uh, that's already three wave, um, the the leg number five completed and it starts to re started to reverse, they will sell um, uh, all the shares that they have left. Then the new the new people the small people that don't know that much about trading they will see the price going up and they will be buying here on the on the third wave uh, at the almost at the end of the elliott wave and then you know the big people that people that knows more it's going to be selling here that's why we have quite a big sell off here uh, but there's still some people buying the dips the usually the new people the people that don't know a lot uh, they will buy the dip thinking this is gonna shoot and go to the moon, but experienced, uh, experienced traders uh, are looking at this and they know that mo most likely we're not gonna go uh, and make a, a higher high again. So there's less buyers and you can see that in the volume, the volume starts to dry up. And then um, uh, in general, when people realize that this bounce and we're not making a higher high, 
then people will start, you know, selling. And that's why the price, uh, it usually goes down. Now, what's the, the percentage, the probability for this to, to complete and uh, to have a complete Elliott wave here? Of course, it's not 100% warranted. It's only 60-40. When you see this pattern here, if you know what you're doing, you know there's 60% chance that we're going down from here to complete the Elliott wave, but 40% uh, chance that it's not going to happen and we could consolidate or even go up from here. That's why I always say that you don't trade uh, based in one single indicator. Just because you see a perfect Elliott wave here, uh, it doesn't mean it has to complete. I mean, 60-40 is always better than 50-50, but it's still not a very good percentage to, you know, to put your money into something uh, like this. So that's why you need to use it in a combination of indicators. You would be looking at volume, for example, the RSI, supports and resistance, the Fibonacci, whatever. I'm not going to go into that. This tutorial was uh, meant to be a quick tutorial on the psychology behind the Elliott wave and the formation pattern, but uh, I'm not going to look at other indicators, uh, just focusing on the Elliott wave. And uh, so that was all for the quick tutorial. I hope it's clear. And if not, please, guys, leave your comments down below and I'll try to answer to the best of my knowledge. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.